people of YouTube, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a what's on my desktop PC with Windows 10. Start off with my desktop, which I have one hot icon that's hopes and dreams, which is obviously the trash can, and I empty that all the time. That's like the only thing I have on my desktop, same with my other monitor, there's like nothing on the other monitor desktop, so yeah, I only got one icon on my desktop. What's on my toolbar? I got Windows Explorer, I got VLC Media Player, which is obviously a media player if you don't already know. It's a nice media player, I like it. Uh, obviously, I've got Outlook on here, and um, then we've got Task Manager. This is Control panels so obviously you can install programs and basic windows settings basically i know there's pc settings as well because windows 10 has two and uh, paint i don't know when they're actually getting rid of it i like paint paint's fun i don't want it to go i still use paint on the computer got a sniffing tool which this comes in handy for screenshotting we've got firefox which obviously is my main browser browser i use all the time my main go-to browser on all my devices pretty much and then we've got discord which again it's currently on my personal discord you're welcome to join my server if you want to it'd be fun and then it says stream mode enabled because i'm currently filming right now if you want to join my discord you can links are in the description as always opera this is my secondary browser i use this obviously it's my second can go to browser. Obviously I've got OneNote which I put my diaries in here, my video ideas and just random yeah. shit. I use this more than sticky notes. It's on Mac. It's just nice because I can sync this over to my phone, my MacBook, all my devices. Let's go through my start menu now. Let's go through the shit on this side. I've obviously got weather app which tells me the weather. Calendar. I don't really use it a lot in Windows 10 but it's useful to have. Microsoft Store, which obviously everyone has, Suzam. I don't really use this like I used to. So I think everybody knows what Suzam is at this point, so I'm gonna bring up a random song. There you go, you just play a song or something that tells you what exactly what the song is. And I've got Instagram. I think you all know what it's Movie Maker. I know they discontinued this. I downloaded this before it was discontinued and I'm not uninstalling it. I don't really use this to edit a lot these days. I might use it occasionally, but I rarely ever. I don't really use it for this channel often. The only time I might really use it for, if I'm completely honest, is to speed up clips even faster. Like if I'm doing like time lapses and that and I'm just going to be recording like me video editing or something I might insert the video in here for example like that and then I and then wait for that to finish and put that really fast if that makes sense. Okay, the next app I have on my desktop PC is, is Bluestacks, which is an application that allows you to run Android on your PC. I have Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. So this is the video editor I use on this PC, Sony Vegas Pro 13.0. And yes, it is correct. I will admit that. I remember that. I remember that. In college, on my and they said oh you're cracked that's really vegas and i heard them say that but yeah i did yeah anyone's weird. but yeah this is what i used to video edit on my desktop pc and this is what i mostly do edit and i mostly edit with this edit occasionally like i said in my what's in my mac video i do edit with final cut sometimes but mostly i use only vegas I've got access on here which obviously i'll probably have like all the office programs but i don't really use this Adobe Application Manager, which probably come with when I downloaded Photoshop. Not gonna go on that. Adobe Bridge, like I said in my Mac video. I have no idea what this is. I don't use it. I think it came with Photoshop. It looks like an Explorer type of program. It probably is. Adobe Photoshop CS6. Yes, I still use CS6. So yeah, I'm still using the older. Don't matter to me because it gets the job done for what I need anyway. So I don't really need to upgrade to the CC 2019 or whatever the fuck. This is what I use to edit my thumbnails and channel art, profile pictures and other graphic design kind of related shit. Alarms and, and clocks, which I don't really need that on a desktop PC because uh, Apple software upgrade, which this probably came in QuickTime when I downloaded that. The only reason why I downloaded QuickTime is so I could import the .mov files into Sony Vegas, so which I'll probably still need that because I've got .mov files on my MacBook, so I haven't got rid of it for that reason. That never comes up about updating shit because I want to stop support for it or some shit. I got Audacity, which I use for like, voiceover sort of stuff. Got calculator obviously and you've got calendar and camera which is basic windows 10 apps everyone has those i've got c cleaner so this helps to clean cash off my pc and whatever else so this is a very useful application i've got excel which i don't i don't really use excel but it's here in case i do need it films and tv i still use windows media player i don't use a lot of these windows 10 apps even for photo viewing i use Windows Live Photo Viewer. I don't 
don't really use the new Windows 10 photos or film and TV, so as a fun fact. And I have Gen Art Sophia OFX, which is just basically like a plugin for Sony Vegas and probably a few video editors. That's how I get most of my transitions because a lot of them aren't default Sony Vegas ones. You get some more effects and stuff. This is most of the transitions I use. Like, I've used that transition a few times. That one I've used. So, yeah, it's just basically more transitions and more effects. Or groove music. I don't really use groove music either. I still use Windows Media Player for music and that as well. This is Google Chrome. This is my third browser. I rarely ever use this. I'm more of a Firefox user. I, I remember in 2014 I did use Chrome like all the time but then I switched back to Firefox. Yeah, I do have Chrome on there. I don't hate Chrome. I don't hate Opera. I don't hate really any browser. Java, obviously I've got Java on here. Which I don't think you need Java as much these days but it's on here. Uh, Windows 10 Mail, obviously I don't use that because I use Outlook. Malwarebytes, yeah. This is my antivirus. I I also I also use Windows Defender and yes I use awesome dark mode. So yeah, that's my antivirus and this is my anti malware. I got ManyCam, which is useful I guess sometimes. I haven't used it in ages actually. Maps, messaging, edge, obviously default Windows 10 apps. Microsoft mouse and keyboard, which I well I used to have a Microsoft keyboard but I have a Logitech keyboard currently and I still got a Microsoft mouse. Microsoft Office 2016 tools, Microsoft Office tools, Skype business, I don't go on there, I don't even have Skype on here anymore, I don't think, Microsoft store, Minecraft, this is probably from the, yeah it is from the Windows 10 store. I used to just play this when I get bored when my dad turned off the internet or some shit, but I haven't really been on it since. I haven't been on here in ages, so I'm really shit at Minecraft. I used to just do shit like this, I just used to do it when I was bored, but... You can only play for 6 minutes now, we used to be able to play for 90 minutes. That's strange, because I remember I just used to use trial and just play for on it for like 90 minutes for free. Now you can only play for 6 minutes for free. The video, which could have got another video, graphics card, one new, oh yeah it's a Windows 10 one new or a free one. I don't go on that on it. Optional features, Windows 10, Paint 3D, Windows 10, Photo Booth Pro, oh my god I forgot I had this on here. I had it on my Surface and I was probably trying to find something like Photo Booth on the Mac but for Windows. PowerPoint Publisher, which obviously came in Microsoft Office. I don't really use this, but it's on here in case I need it. I don't even pay for Microsoft Office either. I just how I got it really was from my college when I went to college, and apparently I could still use it even though I don't go anymore. I haven't even paid for Microsoft Office, or I didn't even crack it either. I just got it for free from the college. My college let people download it at home for their courses, so I was like, why not? Uh, recover which is a really useful application if you delete things and stuff you'd be able to recover your files as it says this will help you recover your files so you can search all files music documents whatever you've deleted by mistake and you want to get back search and I'm not sure search everywhere on my computer you can pick where or if you're not sure you this is really useful to recover files this saved me a few times when I've accidentally deleted files WinRAR I, I use WinRAR and one good thing about Rimrar, you can actually have it for free, but even though it bugs you sometimes about paying for it, but still lets you use it, so. That's one good thing about Rimrar, you never have to pay for it. I know it might say you should, but you can still use it. That's really useful for when I need to extract files, which I use this quite a bit to extract my files when I download on my Google Drive or whatever. And YouTube free download, which I don't pay for this either, I just use a free version. I use this to like download YouTube videos and stuff if I need to. Sometimes I just download my own videos on here but I use this. It comes in handy. We're gonna go on my channel and use this as an example and just download that video even though I've already got it on this PC but oh yeah you could just copy and paste the link and it'll go in here for you which is useful and you can download an mp3 so this is how I sometimes might download music for my videos or you can download a video and you can choose what quality. I usually go in the highest quality comes in handy for like my YouTube and my editing and whatever else so that's what I also use when I'm on the PC because I can't get it on Mac. <laughs> I'm gonna go there so I hope you enjoyed this video of what's on my desktop PC. Hopefully this has interested you and insight of how I make my videos a bit more like what I use for my YouTube content and, that, and whatever else. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go now so bye guys.